There's been lots of activity this morning. We're at the Beaver Hill Bird Observatory and we're just going out to check our nets. We have uh, 17 nets up right now. Yeah, we check them every half an hour to see what birds we catch. Oh, we got a bird. So they usually don't get very tangled. It only takes us a few seconds to get them out. This net, when it's open, is really hard to see. It's called a mist net and it's a really fine, delicate nylon material. So when they're flying through the forest, they don't see it. They hit the net, fall into this loose pocket here, and then they just hang out like they're hanging out in a hammock. And then we come check the nets every 30 minutes and pull everything out that's in them. And it only takes us usually a few seconds. They're not very tangled at all. We have a standard number of mist nets. We keep them open for six hours, and we look at the birds that we catch day to day, and that allows us to describe the migration through the season, and then we do it the same protocol year after year, so then we can look at population changes. We catch them, study them, and then release them, and hopefully we catch them along the way or somebody else does. Once we catch the birds, we weigh them. So by doing it systematically, if there are changes in weights, we can document that. We look at the ages and sexes of them. Uh, how has that changed? We measure the wing length, uh, the tail length. We just did an analysis of 30 years of our information. The wings of most of our small birds, the passerines, are getting longer. It's only a millimeter, but because we've banded so many birds, it's a significant change. And one wonders why. Well, that's what's predicted by climate change. The air is generally warmer. That means it's less dense. So to fly and have the same wing loading, you need bigger wings. So there's a lot of physical characteristics that we can track on these birds. But on top of that, by inviting the public, they get to see what science is about. So part of that is getting them to have the experience here, create the awareness uh, that there are issues, and then have a conservation action when they get home and lead, moving forward. We're in a provincial recreation area, so it's open to the public all year round. When the snow gets too deep, we can't get into site, so we close down and run an education program. But in the spring, summer, and fall, we're out here just catching birds and doing our research.